No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. I said it's futile. It's futile. It's futile because the Bible tells us we cannot stop it. How is that any less futile? Because that protects us. That's not the government. That protects us? Yeah. That pig protects us. Put it on the pig for you. Okay, so pig, baby pig. A pig who wants to be a pig, sure, sure. Come on, man. What about he's security? Uh, what about the women walking at night? We need it for their protection. Okay, why do you have to say woman versus man? I didn't but say that. I have never heard of a man being assaulted uh, by other men and then in front of security. Really? It's always the women that are being assaulted. Really? Have you ever heard of the York University? Really? You have never heard of a man being assaulted by other men. I'll give you a story. School campuses. There are school security. So if it, I used happens, to go if it happens on school campus, then it's an outrage. I never but said if that. It you just said that. You just said that. An eight-year-old child oh. spending most of his life being forced to either suck his father's Catholic, Christian God. Uh, no, 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 hold on. Do not get Catholic and Christian confused. Because Catholicism oh. has nothing to do with the Bible. Because no, if, no, you read, no, no, no. if you read, if you read, if you, if you read Matthew 19 and Matthew 16, it clearly says that if anyone offends these little kids, it's better than a millstone be hung around their neck and drawn at the bottom of the sea. All right. So well, if the Catholic Church is doing that, please. they're a direct violation of God's word. Well, Go you know the same. I'll ask you then. Go ahead. Where was your God? When I was oh, forced I to suck one. my father's yeah, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. When I was nine okay. yeah. years old. Ask, let me ask you something. Where what was the Bible your say? God? What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? How could you what forsake me? Does the, where was your God? Can I speak now? Where was your God? I'm going to ask you right now. Can you ever read Genesis 1 26? Here we go with the Yes. Can you read Genesis 9 1? Yes. Deuteronomy 17 20. Yes. What does it say? ACAP. Always carry a Bible. And I have what one in my Bible. What does it say though? What does it say though? They don't carry a Bible. It says that be fruitful and multiply. You know what that means? Be fruitful. Do if God's you're will. Do God's own will. Consenting children. Do God's will. Are you no. Man. What does God say to rape your children? What does God say that? Because do not commit adultery. Do not have sex with someone outside of marriage. Oh, so I wasn't married to my adopted father, so that that what? justifies I, this sort Did you just say, did you just hear the word coming out of my mouth? Yes, I did. Because what I just said, if you're not married to the if you're if you're a man and not married to the woman, it violates God's word. So they cannot be Christian. So don't tell me the Catholic Church did this, but the Catholic Church is not Christian. I'm not offending the Catholic Church. But you just said Catholic Christian. You just said that. The Catholics are not Christian. They worship Mary. They worship the Pope. We worship Jesus. My father was a Christian. No, and that didn't no. stop But the problem is, you know what I mean? Hold on. My, co my conscience and my anatomies and nieces, they say they're Christian. A lot of people say they're Christian. They're not Christian. So they're not Christian. So they don't say that the Christian church allows that. Christ will save you yeah. from that sodomizing rape. I... Christ will Christ save everybody. Save Christ will save everybody. Where was yeah. Christ when Christ, it happened? I answered the question. Say, where was God? I asked, where, where was God when it happened? I just asked, Genesis 1, 26, and be proof of one life. God right. says, so treat, love God with all your mind, soul, spirit, and strength. God says, God says, do not murder, do not lie, do not steal, do not be immoral. So why do you blame God now, if your not, father was a hypocrite? We're not talking about murder. I'm saying it's a morality. I just answered the question. No, yes, I did. Because you don't accept it. I said, where was your God when I was locked in a closet? It's called free will. It's called free will. When I was nine years old. It's called free will. Where free was will. your God? That's Satan. That's Satan. Don't blame God for free will. There's no free will. We all be with me in one house. But your God and why is to the devil save help? me. Yes. From eternity. Not from where here. Was not he? from here. Not where from was here. He? Not from here. He was nowhere. So don't, don't touch me. That's assault. He don't touch me. Nowhere, my friend. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch oh. me. Don't touch me. That's assault. Am I all of us saying assault? I got uh, whatever, sir. What? How Thank ignorant you. is that? Hey, how ignorant is that? Oh, amen. Is that you see so many faith and everything else? That's so ignorant. Wow. You Thank you, dude.
Josh should be fruitful multiplied. No. If you can't be fruitful multiplied. No, but here's the thing. Let me see the show. Here's the thing. Like, the reality is people sit there and criticize God. Where was God when, God when this happened, when that happened? But you don't even judge yourself. You don't judge yourself. And the reality is if God, if God is going to give man free will, if God is going to give you free will to make choices in your life, then he has to give free will. So bad things happen in the world because men reject God and they don't turn their hearts to God. That's why bad things happen. So you're sitting there, you're going to criticize and judge God, but you yourself are a hypocrite. Hang it on, just move on. We're not hanging it on, we're not hanging it on. We're answering the question. You can blame God all you want, but really, God didn't promise you in this life that you're going to have a super happy fun life. Jesus actually promised that you would suffer for his name's sake. And I'm, I'm, I'm living proof. My dad killed himself when I was four years old, shot himself in the chest. He had money, he had university degree, he had everything. But he, had, he ended up having no hope. So I could sit there and criticize God all day. But the reality is God gives man free will. You have a choice in this life to, to either choose to follow God and turn from your selfish, self-centered lifestyle, or you can continue to live your selfish lifestyle and you'll reap the rewards of a selfish lifestyle live, and that's the lake of fire. That's what God thinks about selfish people. So it's up to you. Yeah, bad things happen to people. Bad things happen to each and every single one of us. But God says that he'll heal you from that brokenness, from the things that have been committed against you. And God will also forgive you of your sin, how you've, how you've harmed and hurt other, hurt other people. So at the end of the day, when you submit to Jesus Christ, it's a win-win. You get eternal life, you get forgiven of your sin. You get healed from the, the sin that other people have committed against you, and the world can come into your utopia. The world's not going to come into your utopia if we all smoke a joint. The world's not going to come into your utopia if we follow Lady Gaga. The world's not going to come into your utopia if we follow the Blue Jays. The world's not going to come into utopia if we follow the ideology of Islam, which is from the devil, which believes in just killing people if they don't submit to their Sharia law. It's tough. Okay? Don't, be fooled, don't, don't be fooled by the super nice guy Muslims over there. Because when they get full Sharia in a country, we'll see what's happening in other Sharia law countries. See if you want to go and follow that society. If you love communism, why don't you go to another communist country where they don't allow you to have freedom of speech? We uh, live in a free country where people can share, they express their opinion, and that's the way it should be. No, they're not dying in the name of the true God, bud. They're, d they're dying in the name of false gods. Any God. Any God. Really. Your God, my God, his God. Yep. Any God in general. I found some of how? Or her bags? Okay. Not luck, blessing. Yeah. People die, thanks brother. People die in the name of false gods all the time. The Catholic Church murdered 50 to 80 million Christians. Other Christians, other people that profess Jesus as their savior, they murdered them because they wouldn't submit to their religious organization. That must be Satan. So God didn't say join up to your regular uh, local religious group. He said, follow me. Read the scriptures. See that you need God. Humble yourself in your life and realize that you're life is a vapor. You're a nobody at the end of the day. No, no, I have a question. You said, how many people were killed by Catholic Church? Catholic Church has murdered 15 to 80 million Christians. Two documentaries. How many, how many people did the Christians kill? Uh, no, none. None. Have you read now, the Bible? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have read the Bible? Now, when, when King James decided that he was going to create Christianity, how many people... What? You, 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 you should stop right now because you obviously do not know your history. Actually, oh, I don't know. You're going to shame yourself in public. I'm going to shame myself. Yes. You told me I should judge myself uh, no, for... By God's rule. By, by God's rule. Right. Hold on. By the Bible. Why should I judge myself? We read the book that God gave man. God gave us his word. That's how he loves us. He loves us by telling us, this is what I want, and this is what I don't want. So he, he gave you all what you need to know. The Bible means basic instructions before leaving earth. That's what it stands for, okay? So it's up to you now that you have been presented God's word. You can play ignorant and stupid all you want, but you're going to stand before God just like I'm going to stand before God, and God's going to sort us all out. Judgment day is really sentencing day. You don't get judged. You're already judged now. If you're living a selfish life, you're, you love Satan, and you're going to fall for Satan's new world order that's going to come for three and a half years that the Bible prophesied more than 2,000 plus years ago and multiple, through multiple prophets of God. It's all in Daniel, Ezekiel, book of Revelation. 
preached by the Apostle John. So if God is not bent over backwards to preserve his word, you can actually get a DVD here. It shows you the last 2,000 years of history. It shows you how the Catholic Church murdered anybody that would, wouldn't submit to their religious organization. And they'll show you how the Catholic Church made their own translations of the Bible. They, they, they omitted stuff from the actual original text received by the Apostles of Jesus Christ. So this is historical evidence for you to go and watch. You can educate yourself. Okay? We, we give them out for free, brother, because we don't hate people. We love, would you like some? Everybody's going to watch the big fancy cars that eventually will rust one day. Nobody's going to care about their Porsche on you're not going to run to your big bag of Luke and Matthew, 
uh, it's recorded that the angel Gabriel came to Mary and told her that she would bear the Son of God and his name would be Jesus. And then the same angel, supposedly by Muhammad's uh, version here, the Quran, all by himself said that Jesus is not the Son of God. But the, the, the confusion, I think, for Muslims and for many people is... When we say son of God, what does that mean? Does that mean that God has a son like with a woman? No, it doesn't mean that. Son of God means, the Bible says first and foremost, God is one spirit. He's a spirit. And the Bible describes that God's spirit is omnipresent, can be in heaven and earth, can be in hell, can be anywhere at the same time. And the Bible clearly says more than, more than twice, it says that Jesus of Nazareth is the expressed image of the invisible God. So if, to see God, you can only see God through the image of God, which is Jesus of Nazareth. All right? Jesus of Nazareth ful fulfilled more than 300 prophecies. In the Old Testament, there's probably only, if, you, if the Muslims say that there's prophecies of Muhammad in the Old Testament, oh, that's cool. that's, yeah, that's... there's nothing even close to Christ. So there really is no prophecies of Muhammad, even though they lied and twisted up Old Testament scriptures to try to fit that. And it's actually quite embarrassing for the person that these supposed Muslim scholars that try to say that this is a prophecy of Muhammad, when it's very easily shown that it's, uh, they're, they're, they're sure trying to make it look like that when it's not. So you just have to study for yourself. Read the Quran, read the Bible, you know, and, and beyond all the academic study you can do, Here's what you can do to meet God today. You just have to repent of your selfish life and commit your heart and your life and your actions and your deeds to glorifying God and doing His will. Then God will be intimate with you. You'll know God. There won't be any confusion. You won't be able to get deceived by the world and all this organized religion and people that take Jesus' name in vain or, or whatever other name in vain. You just have to seek God's face. If you're seeking the Yankees, you're not seeking God. If you're seeking the Blue Jays, you're not seeking God. God says, I want all your heart or nothing. So it's up to you. You're choosing today, heaven or hell, by the way you live your life.